What is up guys, it's MTG of MTG Reviews and today's video we just like comparing the 340 to the 318 and then comparing it if it's worth the price in which is basically twice as much as this 318 which is the preface lift. It started around 700,000 and then this 340 is way over, not way over but then it's over 1.4 million. It's basically fully spent. So yeah, starting with the exterior design on how it looks compared to the 380 and here we have the 318 here we have the 340 this is the preface lift and this is the lci as you can see um the main difference is in the front crazy differences doesn't fit to be a facelift so you can see the bumper is just like too different but then this is the 318 you can get the m sport in this one so then it's gonna be better but then i mean look at the headlights different headlights in most in most uh facelifts they don't change the headlights so here change the headlights change the bumper and then that's it with the front and then the wheels are different as well i think these are the 18s there we have 19s but they still look clean though i prefer like um wheels with color than blacked out wheels i don't know i just the design just pops and then the mirrors you can see mirror caps different m um, spot as i've mentioned on the previous video here we have the standard uh, mirrors on the side side profile basically the same thing sunroof and the shark fin shark fin this thing there is smaller so yeah small and changes and then moving to the back there's a crazy difference here as well crazy crazy difference um so okay look here the exhausts are circular and then you can see you have this thing is nyana here and that side as well the headlights basically the same thing but then let's go to the bumper of the other one i'm gonna show you something so we have this black outlook. It looks like some fangs nyana upside down. And then the headlight, the, 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 the back lights are the same. And then here the exhaust pipes, you can see different gravy. And then we have the 50th anniversary badge, reverse camera. Do we have it there? I don't think we have a reverse camera here actually. Wait, let me see. No, we don't have it here. And another difference are the brakes. You can see normal size brakes. And then there's a huge these are bigger way bigger and then the red calipers as i've mentioned in the previous video and yeah that's basically it with the outside looks clean actually so getting inside the 318 first we just like go through some things and you know, i won't dwell on it too much as i've already viewed it um so as you can see the dashboard is different from the 340 the 340 is the lci the facelift right so even the iDrive is different uh the 340 has the iDrive 8 this is the iDrive uh, 7 so the gauge cluster is different. The infotainment is huge. It's basically mixed as the gauge cluster as well on the newer ones. And then the, another thing that's different is the gear knob here. The gear knob was still present. There we have a dinky little thingy. And then the steering wheel is different as well. But then the button layout is basically still the same in which I like. Uh, the steering feel is different. So as you can see there, this is the iDrive 7. It didn't really have a lot of features like compared to the iDrive 8. iDrive 8 has everything. It's basically a phone on wheels. So this one was decent as you can see some cool animations. And then here we have the cage cluster which is partly digital but then true. The, the 340 in which the facelift takes it into a different level. It's different gravy. Now actually let's get to the 340 and let me show you. Okay, now the interior of the 340, the LCI, the facelift. So, uh, as you can see, the gauge clusters, the infotainment system is just different. It's just a huge, it looks like one huge screen, but then it's basically two screens. Um, yeah, you can check out the pop-up banner up there to check out the review of this car. And as you can see, the infotainment, we have a lot of apps there. The digital gauge cluster is just a different gravy. There's a lot of things that you, that you can change and the steering wheel is a different design steering wheel but then the layout of the button is still the same we have pedal shifters here which are nice actually when you shift to manual mode this is actually a very solid interior though it takes out some features uh from the 318 but i, I still think it's solid there's some features that it like maybe the climate control thing is maybe they could have been manual as they are on the preface lift but then this is still a solid interior actually let me show you how the apps are compared to that one as you have seen on the previous video so here these are the apps that the car comes with 
it's not like you download everything it's apps some some is just like shortcuts in a way climate control as you can see there but then this just like there's a lot of things here compared to the 318 it has everything actually about the car it, it can take you months to like uh, figure out everything so yeah it's actually quite nice it's uh it's, it's a very good uh digital uh infotainment system so let me show you the before and after actually so this is before this is after before after mind you this is just a facelift it's not an entirely new model this is the g20 it's just the life cycle impulse that's why they call it bmw but then this is a facelift so it's a 340 twice the car that the 318 is in some aspects yes in some no when it comes to performance yeah more than twice actually because the power that it delivers is more than two times the power of the 318 but when it comes to comfort and everything if you're a person who just like wants a comfortable car you want a bmw a good handling car you can for sure get a 318 you can like if you want it to look good get the m sport packet you could actually the new 318s the digital gauge luster that i did show you it's it's standard as well so yeah though the price is gonna be at 820 starting but then the 318 is really a good car the 340 is a person who who's gonna drive fast who's gonna really drive it as it, it's meant to be mind you the jump from the 340 to the m3 is 700,000 as well and i don't really feel like the the m3 is worth that much it is maybe once i get to experience it but then the 340 uh, is worth that jump in price so if you're considering getting one as i've said before get that thing buy it if you're looking for a sign this is the sign get a 340 get a 318 if you really just want a good car to like go around it's it's a solid car even when it comes to looks man the 340 look at the mirrors the mirror caps the exhaust it, it just has the subtle things that if you know you know like if you have you have like how what it is and how how it is so yeah that's basically it with these two cars um for now i've covered the the cost of ownership for the 318 i'll cover it for the 340 on another video in which i'm gonna do actually soon this was not really about that so another thing here's the difference in the startup sound <laughs> i do watch See exactly. Imagine the joy you every morning starting at 340 in sport mode. Which you can do before you start, in which sounds glorious, man. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>